very well. The atmosphere at Citizens Bank Park, Todd, we described it as Roman Coliseum-esque earlier. Is that accurate in your mind as well? 100%. It is absolutely nuts. You know, a lot of people talk about how other park ballparks are loud, and that is true. 55,000 people in other ballparks, it does get loud in big moments when fans are supposed to cheer. But you guys see it in these games. The fans from the first pitch to the last pitch are so loud and so deafening. Every time I leave this ballpark after a postseason game, Matt, my, my ears are ringing. We're always caught off guard, even though we know it's going to be loud by how loud it is. The same way, Todd, we're suddenly seemingly caught off guard when Bryce Harper does something extraordinary in the postseason. He's a superhero, and, and I would suggest a bargain at $300 million. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. I remember when they signed him for $330 million, there was some talk internally. Season ticket sales shot up, merchandise sales shot up, and it's like that's part of signing Bryce Harper. And then you get everything that he has done in the postseason. The home run last year against the Padres to get them to the World Series. What he did last night coming up in big moment after big moment. Can you imagine how much money the Phillies have made off of $330 million? It's probably one of the best investments that Phillies owner John Middleton has ever made. I mean, the postseason numbers are striking. What he's done to the Braves is striking. Do you think he's over this revenge tour thing with Arcia and what happened at the end of game two? Has he turned the page on that? Or does that still motivate Bryce tonight? I think it might motivate him. Somebody asked me earlier, you know, if he homers tonight, does he stare down Arcia? And I said, personally, I think I would be surprised if he did that. I think he would like to leave that in game three and just focus on what happens tonight and getting to the NLCS. But with Bryce, you never know. I mean, he does have a flair for the dramatic. I heard this last night. I heard it all last postseason. Teammates love calling him the showman. That would be a showman-esque thing to do, it would be to stare down RC again if he has another big game. We got to hit you with, uh, before we let you go, the pitching plan for Rob Thompson and the Phillies because they quick-hooked Ranger Suarez after game one, and that was the plan. What is the plan for Suarez and beyond in game four tonight? Yeah, so we, we asked Rob Thompson this, this afternoon. He did not tell Ranger before... Uh, the game the other day if he was going to get a quick hook we asked him are you going to give him an idea what the plan is today he said no we're not but he can probably figure out what it is going to be so that leads me to believe it is a similar plan one time through the lineup maybe twice through the lineup the Phillies really love that matchup of their high velocity relievers those hard throwing guys Alvarado Jeff Hoffman etc against the Braves lineup Braves are so good like every team they struggle a little bit more with high velocity so I think that's where the Phillies are going to try to strike in the late innings Braves are facing elimination but there's plenty of urgency on the Phil side they don't want to go back to Atlanta for a game five and Todd I'm sure you don't want to make that trip either so thanks for the time with us enjoy game four tonight thank you